I have here little pieces of flannel that I've cut into different sizes. And we practice here with our, we'll put these from the thinnest, a little thicker, thicker, or wider, narrow, wider, 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 widest. We put it in order of width. And I put these in the right order. And then I have here some other little, this is some little sponge paper. And they have to put the right width on top. For example, here is the thinnest one. Then you look for the next one. Where's the next one? You match it. It's a little thicker. So I get to put it right on top to match it. You can use any type of paper, whether it's plastic, you can use sponge paper, you can use flannel, you can use um, sandpaper. Using a variety of different types of papers is, makes it extra fun. And then on top of that, you can give them another pile of sandpapers and they have to match the width as well. I've also done here, we have measure, we have again the sponge paper, and they have to put it in. This is the length. So you learn the vocabulary long or short length. This is, you measure the length. And you have to find, oh, let's find the smallest one. So you put the smallest down first. Look, where's the next smallest? Compare sizes. So this is a good reading exercise too because they have to really look. Okay, look at this. Oh, smaller, be a little bigger, a little bigger. Now which one is the next biggest? Can you help me find it? Oh, there it is. Let's put it next to here. And then you put that biggest one, the longest one. Short and long. This is fun. You can use any little piece of paper that doesn't wrinkle, that doesn't rip and break. They can do all kinds of things with it. You can measure different things. Let's measure the table. Let's see how many of these makes up the table. So you see one, put your finger here, and you turn again up, and then here's your finger. Two. And you see how long goes up. It's three! Something fun too. You can use a measuring tape or a ruler. If you have a ruler that has nice, clear, big numbers. And then, what my little boy likes to do, we put them in order of height. And then he takes each one and he measures it. And then he writes the number, for example. He round off the number. Here's one and a half, but he wouldn't know how to write half, so he writes one. And he gets the next little one and then he puts one on his paper or he finds a little magnet number that says one and he puts one on top. And he measures one. Oh, this one is three. You get the little magnet number that says three and you put it on top. And on you go till you've measured all of them. This is some fun little measuring exercises you can do with your toddler or preschooler.